Welcome to the city of Salisbury, my home city, my hometown, somewhere that I grew up that I left when I was 35 to go and live in France. But as you can see behind me, as I said, I am here in Salisbury. Now, I shouldn't be here, actually. There's a story. What is it? I'll tell you as we go on, but I'm also going to explain where I am, what it is that I'm doing, different locations that you can photograph in Salisbury, three or four of them that are fantastic places to do and to come to when you do come here to Salisbury. On the back of the camera there you can see Salisbury Cathedral, that beautiful, I think it's 12th century cathedral, 14th century spire. Inside the cathedral is the world's oldest working clock. It is a beautiful place to go and visit and certainly at the moment actually what they told me the other day when I went in there is that it's actually looking how it used to because all the chairs are put away because of the current pandemic. Here you can see the shot that I'm doing through the gate, through to that cathedral there. I'm going to have to do a blend because it's just too high contrast. Now I know people would say, why don't you use a grad? Because a grad would cut into the spire, the buildings, the trees, not worth it. Honestly, better to do a blend. There's a polarizer on the front as well. The sun is there at this time of year. There's a few shots you can do around here. This is the West Harnham Water Meadows made famous by John Constable. Now, what I'm going to say to you right now is do not come onto these water meadows without permission. I do have permission to be here. I was given permission around 12 years ago to basically just come here when I want to. Somewhere at home, I have that letter that says what it is that I can do. So do not come here onto the water meadows, into the water meadows unless you have permission. There is what they call the town path that runs from the main city centre to West Harnham. You're quite free to walk along there as people do every single day going to and from the city and you can photograph from there. However, I would say to you, don't under any circumstances come onto the water meadows without first getting the permission. When you do get permission, there is tons of stuff you can do here and it actually makes it a lot more interesting being here. And at the moment, what's nice actually is it's a mist that's building up as I am speaking. So I'm going to be able to get some really nice shots of the cathedral in the mist, which I haven't been able to do for a long, long time. I don't live here anymore, but this morning I was going to go somewhere else. But in any case, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful English, British scene of Salisbury Cathedral. And then I'll explain what the heck am I doing here? What am I doing here? Well, on the 21st of December, I was supposed to be flying back to France via Amsterdam. Of course, if you've been keeping up with the news and it's kind of hard not to know what's in the news at the moment, the Netherlands basically brought down the Iron Curtain and said no flights from the United Kingdom. And so therefore I had to change my flights to go directly to Paris. A few hours later after changing my flights, the sad reality is France then blocked flights for 48 hours while they decided what it is they're going to do with people from the United Kingdom going into France. Now basically you can only go into France right now as I understand it. If you are a French citizen or a resident of France. I am a resident of France. Although the United Kingdom is my birth home, this is not where I live anymore. It's not where I pay my taxes. I pay my taxes in France. I'm a resident of France. So to get back to France, I'm having to wait until the 5th of January. I then had to go and have a PCR test in order to be able to fly back home within 72 hours. So it's going to be one of those really nice tests where they scrape the back of your throat and then stick whatever it is up the left or right nostril, whichever one that they want to do. And then, uh, then I have to fly within 72 hours. That's the rules, basically. If you're thinking of going somewhere, and honestly, I'm going to do a vlog on this. Honestly, at the moment, don't go out of your home country. Really, it's just not a good idea. Um, but basically, if you have to go, then you're going to have to do a PCR test more than likely, but check any entry restrictions. But that was going on. But excuse me, because uh, as I said, beautiful cathedral seen behind me right here. This is right into the water meadows. I've never explained where this is to people, what it is you can do here, but I am giving you 
images now that I did a long time ago, but I know where they are and I know the conditions to come here to come and get them. As you can see, the conditions this morning are beautiful, but I've got work to do. So I'll show you another location after this one. Right now is the most perfect conditions I have seen these water meadows in a very, very long time. The early morning frost is burning off and becoming a mist which is settling across the water meadows. It looks beautiful. The sun is up. It's having to cut its way through the mist, but it's just beautiful when it's like this. This is when you want to photograph this particular scene. You want the water meadows either with sheep, which I think is actually quite rare to get now, or you want it with the early morning mist. It is stunning when it's like it is behind the camera right now. What you're looking at right now is the absolute optimum conditions of photographing Salisbury Cathedral. I'm just going to take another shot actually. I haven't seen it like this in so long, but then I don't live here anymore. But this is how you want to photograph Salisbury Cathedral across the West Harnham Water Meadows. Now where I'm stood right now, this is the middle of the town path. The gate that you're looking at, you can't open. It is always locked um, and you can see you might be able to see on the final image it says private property so it said don't go in there without permission I do have the permission to go on the water meadows but there you go beautiful morning on the water meadows I've come to a place I haven't been to for 12 years a place that when I last came here I didn't have a long enough lens to really get the picture of Salisbury Cathedral that I wanted to. Now I do have a long enough lens. That might tell you just how far I am away from the cathedral. It's over a mile away from the actual centre as the crow flies looking towards the cathedral. Now up here, when I was walking up here, I thought, can I still get here? Because it's been so long since I've been here, things have changed so much. Thankfully though, there is still one view that you can get of the cathedral, which is where I'm stood. Where am I stood? As I said, I think really it, it is a good idea if people do their own research with these things. There's a, a friend of mine who lives in Cheshire. The other day he said, where can I go in Cheshire? And I thought, well, just get an OS map. You can go to bingmaps.co.uk bing.co.uk forward slash map sorry and then you can get the OS map just just look around and you'll find stuff that you can do there's tons but people really need I think the, the problem these days is people want everything on a plate and I'm not going to give everything to you on a plate there's some things that are easy this is local knowledge this is real local knowledge I grew up in this area so I know what's here now being here and actually having a very long lens, what I've been able to do is find another potential location to get a similar-ish shot of where I am. What I don't know is if it's on a public footpath and I can see there's something. It looks more like a farm track, but it might also be a public footpath. Anyway, what I'm going to do is show you the resulting picture that I've got and you can see it is a stunning view of Salisbury Cathedral and the city of Salisbury. The next location that I want to show you for photographing Salisbury Cathedral is across the rooftops. It's a place called Culver Street Car Park. If you're going along the Ring Road towards Southampton, coming from the London Road, you look to your right, you'll see Culver Street Car Park. An interesting little fact for those of you that may not know this place is back in the early 80s when I was around and late 70s as they built from here and there's a tiny bit of it left a road that was to go from the ring road right over to the middle of the city to a place called New Street there was a flyover that stopped just basically in the middle of nowhere it looked really odd a lot of us that were around at that time, we call it the uh, road to nowhere. And if you find pictures of it on Google, you can find images of it. You'll see exactly what it is that I mean. Now, you do have to be a little bit wary up here at times, just because some 
one or two times I'll say I've had a security guard come up and say what are you doing and it's just like well I'm taking a photo well you shouldn't be because there's houses directly in front of the photograph fair enough but um, you know that's just how it is you could have that argument forever and a day as to whether you should or should not be here but uh, I would say if you're going to park your car here there's nothing wrong with getting a quick snapshot across the rooftops is it the best morning yeah it's okay it's a typical kind of English winter's morning at the moment they said there's going to be some break in the cloud there's going to be a lot more later in the day but it clouds up again what can you do well you know I thought I'd just at least show you where it is that you could come but let's show you the view across the rooftops from Culver Street car park towards Salisbury Cathedral there is the view looking towards Salisbury Cathedral so you can see you're looking over the rooftops here and there's the cathedral there there is another place that I'm going to show you and I'm hoping actually that I can get to it this morning I'm not sure if it's open or not we are in tier three right now here in the United Kingdom in Salisbury so um, it's actually this side looking over to the cathedral across the rooftops another place you can go to but as I said you can see the rooftops there here's the houses down here as I mentioned there was that road to nowhere what on earth did it do well if you see my finger going across here literally the road went over and where you're seeing this house just round about here just stopped a flyover in the middle of nowhere up in the sky very very strange I guess 1960s 1970s planning the idea was though that a road was to come across from the flyover from the sorry from the ring road going over there to a car park actually I'm going to show you a bit later if I can get to it over here it's New Street car park but uh, anyway there you go so at the moment the lens is on about 70 mil or so something like that is it a dawn shot it is dawn at the moment you can see there's not a lot going on in the sky which is a little bit frustrating but what can you do you, know, you have to take the moment when you can but uh, but yeah there you go so there's a view across there I'm going to do a slightly longer lens shot as well of the cathedral just to bring it a little bit more closer do a, uh, a vertical shot of the cathedral instead of just doing a regular a landscape type orientation shot but uh, yeah there you go Culver Street car park if you can get here I mean you can walk in here for free you don't have to pay to park your car but if you park your car you can come into Culver Street and then you can get across a shot across the rooftops there it works at dawn and also depending on the time of year you can come here in the evening as well and also getting the cathedral lit up at night which I've done before so yeah it's a good shot across the rooftops towards Salisbury Cathedral I thought I'd do a little addendum to Culver Street car park why because as you can see there's some side light that's come up I thought I'd just wait because I could see there was breaks in the cloud coming in the direction of the of that wind that was blowing the cloud I thought it's going to break I'm sure it's going to break and hopefully there'll be a nice break on the horizon where the sun rises that way to then illuminate the cathedral to the southwest there is and it's looking stunning at the moment this is why I wait and this is why I'm so often saying to you don't just take an image for the sake of taking it if you can wait it's far better to have a couple of good images rather than a couple of dozen really bad images but let me show you on the back of the camera what it is that I've got you'll see why it is that I've waited because the side light is beautiful now in the early morning after here I'm going to take you to the last location I'm going to show you for Salisbury there's there's lots more but there's just ones I thought I'd show you while I'm stuck here in the United Kingdom but you'll see why it is that I've waited because as I said it looks really nice the side light this morning this is why I wait this is why I'm always saying to the people that watch my channel if you have patience you can see now actually it's the sun's going a little bit behind a cloud but it won't be for long but you can see this is the, the image that I took you can see there's the cathedral illuminated there's a bit of color kind of in the sky warm light in the sky and there's shadows there's a lot more dimension to the image that's what I'm after I want when I look at a photograph that it's that it has three dimensions to it that it's not flat it's not a two-dimensional photograph sometimes it works but for me very rarely I want things to look 
you're looking at it and you look as if you want to go in to the image. That's what I'm trying to achieve to show you, the viewer, what it is that I'm doing. It's also why my work sells as much as it does because I wait. I get the patience. I've got the light. That's what you've got to do, folks. If you want to be out there doing this, you have to have the patience and you've got to be waiting and you've got to be reading conditions all the time. And of course, knowing this isn't my local area anymore, but it certainly was for most of my life. But you can see on the back of the camera the difference between the first image that I was taking and the one now. It looks beautiful. Anyway, let's get over to New Street Car Park, which is just that way. About five minute walk or less. This is the fourth location that I want to show you to photograph Salisbury Cathedral. And again, like Culver Street Car Park, it's across the rooftops. This is New Street Car Park. Very easy to get into and you just come on the roof. And actually I'm grateful to my gran, who's uh, sadly passed away the last couple of months, who said to me quite a few years ago, said, have you ever been at the top of New Street Car Park? No, why? Go and have a look. You'll see why in a minute. In a way, is this the best? They're all, they all have their pluses and minuses when it comes to the locations for photographing the cathedral. You can, of course, go into the, the cathedral close as well and photograph the cathedral from there. But here is actually a really nice view across the rooftops towards the cathedral. It's right up close, actually, and you'll see why. And it's also a really nice location in winter sunrise, as we have here at the moment or sunset which will be in that direction although you won't necessarily get the side light that you've got now you get more kind of backlight but certainly a summer sunset if the car park's open then you can get the light coming in this direction onto the cathedral it looks stunning at the moment and i am so glad that when i got up this morning i checked my app clear outside that said that the clouds going to gradually dissipate and oh, it just looks fantastic it's really really beautiful this morning let me show you what it is that i've got you can see the view across the rooftops of salisbury from new street car park you can see why i've come here and again you can see why it is that i say to you every single time wait for the light look at this beautiful side like the sun is just off the edge of the GoPro just there you can see there's a bit of flare coming in there and look at that side light on the cathedral there it is beautiful this morning there's a really cool tree that's just there hidden behind the camera but you'll see it on the final image it looks kind of uh it's it's okay actually I, what, what I prefer is there's a bit more older style buildings here at the moment I think the building that's behind the tree is a theological college from what I remember but there again as i said though you can see the cathedral it's about 50 mil at the moment it's going to have a little bit of converging verticals which i'll have to fix in post do be aware though that the cathedral does lean just a little bit from what i remember because of the foundations of it if you read up on the history of salisbury cathedral you'll see that there's hardly any foundations at all to what what is there and it's sat on an old water meadow as well so yeah but there you go, it looks beautiful. I'm just gonna wrap up and then we'll go from there. And the next time you'll see me, it should be in France. So there's four locations for you to photograph Salisbury Cathedral from the West Harnham Water Meadows, from another location, which I won't say exactly where it is, just do a little bit of, of research. Culver Street Car Park and then New Street Car Park. There's a lot more that you can do with Salisbury. There are some old historic buildings here as well that you can go and photograph. Go inside the cathedral. If you get hold of the cathedral before you go in with a camera, they, they don't mind you taking photos in there. Yes, you pay to go in, but it's worth it. If you see that building itself when you go inside, you'll know why it's worth paying an entry fee to go inside Salisbury Cathedral. It's beautiful inside there, it really is. But there you go, my old hometown of Salisbury, which where I lived before living in France, 
hope you've got a little bit of an idea now of what it is that you can do here. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Happy New Year, because when I started this, although you're not going to see that sequence in it, I did start trying to film Christmas Day, but aborted it for a much better morning, the frosty morning, and then now here, uh, this is the 2nd of January, so Happy New Year. Let's hope that 2021 brings us a lot more stability this year. And certainly the news the other day that the Oxford vaccine has come is hopefully going to start opening up places and countries and allowing us to travel freely again. Until the next time, though, hopefully I'll see you in France. If you haven't subscribed, of course, then do subscribe down there. Do comment as well because I'll answer any comments that I can when I get a moment. But in any case, stay safe. See you again soon, wherever that might be, hopefully somewhere in France. See you, folks. Bye.